Hello? Tommy, hello. I am Rafael Nadal. Oh, hi. How are you? Just, just, just a pleasure to talk to you. Just a pleasure. How is everything? Good, how are you? I am very good. I am here in New York. Just, uh, Thank Always you. My favorite player. Well, yeah, many so, thanks. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're so fun to watch out there. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Uh, well, one of my questions is, what's your best advice? I'm 15 years old, and what's your best advice for an up-and-coming junior like me? Well, just in my opinion, the most important thing is enjoy the sport. At the same time, you need to okay. find... You need to find the, the right place for, for practice. You, know, you need to find good people around you and you need uh, a group of people that, that will help you. Know? And for me, it was always very important to uh, have players close to me that I was able to, to practice with them. And that makes the things easier. And you know, always the, the people that will, you will have around will be, will be very important. How old are you now? I'm 15. 15? So. That's that's the most important thing. Have a good people around, and you know, try your best in every moment. Yeah, I've got a good family, so they help me a lot. Thank um, you. Another question is, what advice would you give to the younger players that are coming up Well, um, I, I was able to be number one of the world in number 2008 after a few years fighting for, for that. Uh, had in front uh, an amazing player like, like Roger and then in 2008 uh, Djokovic appeared. So it was, a, it was a, a tough time for me but at the same time it was uh, exciting and I was able to do it. I had the chance to to do it again in 2010 and um, well this year I, I am in a position that if I have the chance to keep playing well I will have another another option but you never know what's going on and the rivals are you know are very good but always the motivation to keep improving my game in every moment that's was my key you know and you know the motivation to to keep having the chance to to be competitive and especially after what happened last year with the injury that's that's the most important thing, you know, the, the exciting to be back on tour and try to be competitive in every tournament that they're going to play. Well, yeah, I'll definitely be rooting for you and tell a lot of people around here. We all love watching you. So thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, and what is your thought process after being down in the match to get back into the match? When I'm losing a match? Yes. Uh, you know, n not always are the same feelings, but uh, for me, I just try to think about winning the next point when the situation uh, are not going the way that I want. Just try to change something, try to find uh, a solution, and try to to change the dynamic of the of the match. But always thinking in in every point in every point. Uh, ah, yeah. Thank you. Uh Last question, what is your diet that makes you so greatly prepared for every match? My diet? Yes, like what, what do you focus on eating more of every day? And nothing, just normal diet. <laughs> really normal diet, yeah, nothing, nothing really well, special. That's, well, that's cool. Uh, well, thank you so much for letting me talk to you. Well, Tommy, just a pleasure and, you know, thank you for your support. A big, big hug, yeah. okay? Thank, Thank you, my you friend. Know. Bye, Tommy. Okay. Bye. Hello, Logan. Hello. Hello, I'm Rafael Nadal. I'm crazy. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Kentucky. Huh? Kentucky. Kentucky? Okay. <laughs> uh, how, how, is, how is everything? Everything is fine? Oh yeah? You watched me there in Cincinnati? That's that's great. That's great. How old are you? I'm 18. 18? <laughs> so, a big pleasure to talk to you.
just and thank you for texting Baba Lat and uh, you know just um, was a, a really honor I had the chance to to call you and um, are you playing tennis? Oh yeah, uh, I played since uh, high school. Oh yeah. I just got a couple times to play in a while. That's that's great. And are you studying now? Oh yeah, well, finish the holiday, so. <laughs> yeah, can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure, pleasure, yeah. Um, so, who would you say that you admire growing up playing tennis? Well, I admire a lot of players, but uh, when I was when I was uh, a kid, and um, always was was great to have Carlos Moya very close to me, you know, and uh, he's one of the my best friends but at the same time for me when I was a kid it was uh, very important to have somebody like like him a number one like him very close and have the chance to to practice with him very often uh, I like to play with the players that I'm winning <laughs> no, <laughs> no I, you know no I'm joking no. well you know I'd, at the end, you know, this you have a, a few a few matches that are always special, no? When you play uh, against the the very top players, against Novak, against Roger, against Andy in big big stadiums, uh, important matches. That's special, no? And um, when you are when you are com when you are competing for for important things. That's why I practice every day to try to be ready for this these kind of days. And uh, you know, semifinals of Montreal was very special for me, very important match. I'm very happy to be part of that match. Semifinals of Roland Garros, uh, final of Australia in 2000, 2012 that I lost, but it was a great match. You know, these kind of matches are, are always very special. No, and the final of Wimbledon 2008 against against Roger. No, these kind of matches are very special. Well, many thanks. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks for calling. Well, Logan, thank you for your support. A big hug, okay? Thank you. I hope to see you soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hello, Lisa. I am Rafael Nadal. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Very good. I'm here, you know, having two days off now here in New York, so that's fine. Relaxing a little bit. <laughs> how are you? Everything fine? Where are you, where are you from? What's up? Where are you from? I'm from Los Angeles, California. Oh, yeah? That's great. I, I always have been there very close in Palm Springs. I never had the chance to visit Los Angeles yet, so I, I have to do it. <laughs> Oh yeah? Oh yeah? So yeah. I hope to see you there. <laughs> you will. I'll be volunteering. I'll work there. Oh yeah? That's great. So please let me know. <laughs> I will. So... Um, well, thank you so much for calling me and I just want to say congratulations for all of your success for the season. Many thanks. Thank you very much. Yeah. And thanks for your support. Babola told me that you have a few questions for me. Well, today on the day off, I normally I wake up not too late, around uh, 8.30 in the morning, and I have the breakfast, I go for practice around uh, 1 hour 30, and then I, I come back to the hotel, I do some treatment with the, with the physio, and today was special because I had two days off, so I went, I went to a spa, and I was just uh, relaxing a little bit there with my team. That's good. Was a good day. Okay, I just want to ask you what kind of music do you listen to before the match? Like, what what kind of music do you like? I listen completely different music. I, I don't know listening all the time the same the same things. I have, uh, you know, in my in my iPod I have you know completely different music, and I you know I love the Spanish music. Okay. 
Latin music. So. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Lisa. <laughs> what? <laughs> Well, Lisa, just was a, a really pleasure to talk to you, and I hope to see you next year in Indian Wells. Okay? Okay. Talk to the US You're my favorite to win. <laughs> Many thanks. Thank you very much for the support. Okay? Thanks. Bye, Lisa. He says. Bye, bye. Thank you. Bye. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Good stuff. <laughs>